I'm Robin. So I wanted to share all about cloth diapering and how it's been working for us so it can work for you too. So for supplies, a lot of people have containers and then they have a pail liner inside. And that is just a big bag that has plastic on the inside and it's waterproof. So you put the diapers inside, a lot of times they have a zipper or some sort of tie on the top, and you put them inside and then you wash that with your cloth diapers. So I don't actually have that. My husband and I have a different system. Uh, I got four wet bags. It's the same concept as a pail liner, but it's smaller and it's travel size. So you go to the park, you bring some of your cloth diapers, and then when they're dirty, you open this, you put them inside, and then you close it. And we also fill them when we're at home. That works for us. We didn't have to buy a pail liner. We didn't have to buy a container for the diapers. We just put them in here. Wherever I'm in the house, I can have one of those and otherwise I can just take it right out to the laundry area. So when you're traveling, you just bring a wet bag or two and your cloth diapers and your wipes. If you're using cloth wipes, what we do is we wet them before we go. We put them in a container and they're ready to go. Some cloth diapering parents use regular disposable wipes. I don't. I find that it's easy enough. I'm already doing a load. Why not just throw in the wipes? it takes no extra time. I don't fold the wipes. You can use cloths that you buy at a store for your wipes. You can make your own. I'm like the most bare bones wipe person ever. It is literally a piece of a shirt. Yeah, I don't sew around it. I just cut pieces out of a shirt. It can be receiving blankets too. And I didn't take time sewing around little tiny pieces of material. That's just annoying. You will need diaper cream. Hopefully you won't need it at all, but you will want it on hand just in case you have a diaper rash or some sort of irritation. We use coconut oil. That's cloth diapering safe. You can use diaper creams that are not cloth diapering safe if you put something between, some sort of barrier. Uh, there are liners that some people use they put them in all their diapers and then it's easier to deal with the poop. If we did have a diaper rash issue that could not be resolved with coconut oil or some other natural treatment, we could use them between the diaper cream that's not cloth friendly and the diaper so that there's no repelling issue. If you're breastfeeding and your child is not on solid foods yet, you are the luckiest of cloth diapering parents. All you do is put them in your washing machine and even if it's poop, it's water soluble. If your child is on formula or already on solids, you need to do something with the poop. A lot of people have sprayers that attach directly to the toilet and you just spray it off and you put it in the location it's going to stay until you do laundry. When you do laundry, you're going to take apart things that need to be taken apart. That's the inserts of the pocket diapers. That's the inserts of the fitted diapers and then it dries much more quickly. You put in your pail liner and your wet bags. Make sure you turn them inside out so the inside gets nice and clean. So to wash the diapers, as long as you don't go more than three days, you're pretty safe. Some people go for longer, but um, if you're starting out and you're not really that confident, you're not sure, every two or three days is more recommended. Some people buy special detergent that's cloth diaper friendly. Um, I'm not at all saying that's a bad thing. Uh, I don't do it. I mean, you're already saving so much money, so I guess if you buy a really nice detergent and keep your diapers pristine, great, good for you, but I'm just using what I have. And the way that you wash them is you do one cold rinse with no soap, just a rinse, and then you do a regular wash with soap with the normal amount. You can use warm or hot. It does depend on what kind of diapers you're using. Some companies will say, do not use hot water for this. I, on occasion, use hot water for all of my diapers. Um, otherwise, I use warm. But I'd rather make sure that they're super clean than worry about maybe destroying some. The wool does not get washed in the washing machine like the pre-folds. What you need to do is have them air out every week. You can gently hand wash your wool covers and you want to use a wool wash 
or a mild soap with lanolin. The lanolin is what keeps it waterproof. I like to put my inserts in the sun and I like to put my pocket diapers in the shade. Unless there's some sort of staining, then I do put it in the sun. It kills bacteria and gets rid of the stain. The sun is a natural bleach. If you use bleach instead, um, that can be irritating to your baby's skin. We line dry all of our cloth diaper laundry, but if you want to use your dryer, the covers and the pocket diapers hold up for longer if you hang dry. If you get your diapers new, make sure you check if they need to be prepped. Some diapers you need to wash multiple times to build up the absorbency. Yes, we bought used diapers. Oh my goodness, some people think that's weird. I don't. Part of the reason that I'm choosing cloth diapers is to be better for the environment. And I've sanitized them. They were like new when I got them. I'm going to do something better for the environment. And I'm not creating more waste. I make sure that they're clean before I put them on my baby. And I have sanitized them. So they are great. They work wonderfully and they are safe and healthy and cute and cheap. And I'm able to sell them for the same price that I got them for. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please put any advice you have in the comments because all of us are trying to learn more about cloth diapering and it's kind of fun to hear what other people are doing.